All right, I'm a real sucker for these things. <laughs> um, it's a tiny antenna. I know it's not much better than a 50 ohm resistor, but, <laughs> but I just have to do this. This is an Official Nagoya. Um, I don't remember where I bought it. I think it was on Amazon. Uh, Nagoya. If you go onto the Nagoya website, it'll tell you whether to, how to detect a real Nagoya from a fake Nagoya. And it has to do with the printing of the Q code and the, the shape of the round, roundiness of the corners of the plastic and the shininess. Anyway, it teaches you everything there is to know about detecting fakes. And this is the real McCoy. All right. So this is a Nagoya NA805. And it says frequency 144, 430, 1200 megahertz. So tri band gain 0 dB. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's isotropic. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's zero dB over what? Over nothing, I guess. Max power ten watts. VSWR one to five, one point five. Very nice. Okay. So like I said, I'm a real sucker for these things, and it's a Baofeng, uh, you know, female connector on the end. All right. So because I'm a sucker, of course I have other ones. So here's one. It's a little bit bigger though. So this one wins on size. It's the smallest one I've seen. So I've got that one, which is a diamond antenna. And I've got this one. So I've got three of them. And ah, this one's going to roll away. Okay, where's my ruler? All right, let's measure these things. My long one is... 45 millimeters and the next one is 40 ooh, 45 millimeters are these the same size oh oh yeah they look different because this one's flat on the top these are about the same size it might be a millimeter difference this one might be 45 and this one is 44 we'll call this one 45 and 44 all right and these are male versions I've had those for a long time. And this new one is 35. Wow, 35. So yeah, a whole centimeter shorter. So there you go, pretty cool. All right, so it says on the writing here, Nagoya says all the same stuff. It says all the same frequencies and everything, okay? Hey, look at this, you can put antennas. You can put antennas back to back. And will electrons flow in there all the time? I don't know. Okay, so let's go measure these things and I'll bring along a, a, nice, uh, a nice antenna so we can kind of compare them, okay? Okay, I have this thing uh, sweeping from 100 megahertz to 500 megahertz. And uh, we will start with the uh, nice antenna. This, this one is off of a Baofeng antenna. Is there a number? Just a Baofeng. Doesn't say what uh, what frequency range, but it should be a dual band antenna. So let's screw it on, and sure enough, look at that. There's two uh, there's two dips, one at one at two meters and one at 77, 77, 70 centimeters, 440. So 144 and 440. So it is a dual band antenna. Let's look at it with a Smith chart, and um, you can see that a Smith chart gives you got to hold it right. A Smith chart gives you two circles. And those, the, those circles intersect here at 50 ohms uh, at 144 and 440. So that's the way it works. There's two circles, okay? It's actually that extra circle in there. But anyway, there's two circles that, that get you to that center spot there, okay? So that's what a good antenna looks like. All right. So let's start with my longest one, my 45 millimeter, all right? So I need to put an adapter on it here so we can screw it on. Right. Let's screw it on, see how it does. And we get two circles. Very nice. Okay, if we go back to uh, the other format, we get two dips. Uh, a little bit smaller here, very, very narrow here. So at two meters, it's really, really working hard. And at 440, it's probably okay. But uh, Smith chart, yeah, we get two circles. And they're trying to trying to get to 50 and you have to hold it right and uh, 
people say, oh, you need a counterpoise, and that's not true because you're not going to use it with a counterpoise. You're going to hold it in your hand, okay? Anybody who carries around a counter counterpoise in their pocket, stupid. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I'll put a counterpoise on just for, you, just for you to be happy, okay? So here's a counterpoise. And it does nothing. It does nothing at all. So get, get a life. <laughs> all right. So, um, okay. So we have two circles with this one. And like I said, 440 is looking pretty good, but the two, two meters is stretching it, but, it, but it is working. It is working. All right. So let's try my next, my next one out. Uh, this is the uh, 44 millimeter. Okay. This one says it's a diamond SRH 50, I mean 805S. So SRH 805S. And it says it's a 144, 430, 100, 1200 megahertz. So same thing. But this one says it's a wideband receiving. It doesn't say anything about transmitting, it just says receiving. So maybe that's a clue. And let's plug it on. And we get one circle and one circle only. And uh, if we go to the other format, uh, yeah, we get one dip at 440. So this is a 440 antenna. No 220 about it, no 4, 144 about it. No, no it, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's two band. Sorry, that's all it is. I mean, one band, it's, it's 440 and that's it. So a little bit of a disappointment. That's what it is. All right. Let's, um, oh gosh, now I've got this adapter screwed hard. There we go, got it off. My adapter was screwed onto the thing there. All right, so here's my, uh, my new Nagoya, official Nagoya. And uh, let's hold it up. And I only see one dip. I only see 440. That's it, 440, done, 440. And if we go to uh, Smith chart, yeah, we get one circle. It does dip over there to uh, over there to 50. Let's uh, change the format to SWR. Yeah, it does get down there below 1.5. Is what it was what it was sold as. 1.5. It's going down to about 1.3. Very nice, but only at 440. Okay, um, it's not going any farther than that. People want to see what is it doing anything at 1200? Uh, frequency stop frequency. Uh, 13. And uh, there's a tiny, 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 tiny little dip over there. Tiny, tiny little dip, 2.8. Let's see if we can put a marker on it. No, I can't find it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, so you have to hold it just right. If I put my finger on it, it's dipping at 950. <laughs> So no, it's not a ham, not a ham band. It's just it's just an artifact of the double frequency of where it's resonating. Okay, so yeah, you can ignore that one. Uh, we'll go back to stop frequency of 500 megahertz, and yeah, it is just one band. That's it. All right. So, uh, what did we learn today? Uh, we learned that. Most of these little shorties are single band. So the diamond one was single band. This new uh, shorty Nagoya, single band. And this little, I don't know who made this one, but it's dual band. That's, the kind, of, that's, that's kind of pretty cool. Um, now, do these things actually radiate? <laughs> um, I don't know how much power actually comes out of this thing. That's a special test. I don't have the equipment for that. Um, but. Um, yeah, I mean, it probably hits a local repeater, right? <laughs> probably fine, because uh, you don't need a lot of power to hit a repeater. And it's very, very short in comparison with a normal duck. It's very, very short. So anyway, there you go. Uh, if you want to buy one of these things, go ahead, but don't transmit anywhere but 440.